Hello and welcome back for part 39 of my Ability and MP Nerds Only Challenge. So in the last part we did the capturing in the Calm Lands and there's of course quite a lot more capturing I can do of different areas but right now I'm just interested in capturing a Bashura I think from here on the Gagazet path. So I'm partly doing that because SOS Haste would be a useful armor drop to get and I'm also partly doing that because right now I really just need Yuna to level up so she's getting close-ish to Holy but she's still a fair ways away and then after she gets Holy I need her to use a return sphere to come all the way back up here and get to auto life which is obviously another bunch of sphere levels so I'm thinking I might have to have kind of just a grinding session where I'm killing Bashura over and over. It doesn't give amazing AP, but it's not terrible either, and sadly there isn't a great uh, AP source right now. If we could get past uh, Seamoth Flux, then up in the Gagzak Cave, we could capture a Mandragora, and those give you like 6,000 AP even on a non-overkill, and you can just kill them with Stone Touch. So that would be awesome, but sadly there's nothing anywhere near as good as that right now. Anyway, uh, here we are with the encounter we wanted, that's good. The grants are kind of annoying. They're immune to slow, they're also immune to zombie, and they resist petrification and death. But they don't do their confusion causing attack on the first hit. Now uh, let's see. So I can use Sentinel to, at least at the beginning of the battle, block the attacks of the Grats. But I want probably Sleep Buster on the Bashura. So I think... Oh, not haste on the enemy. Yeah, let's haste Waka. Yeah, so Hasted Wacker can keep up with the Bashura no problem at all and keep him under sleep. Yeah. So Oren has. Let's see. Regen Bracer, yeah, that's fine. He unfortunately does not have Confused Proof, which would be nice against the Confusion attack, but. Yeah, we just can't get it yet. Okay, well, if I knew it was going to miss, yeah, I guess that one didn't. Alright, so in the next attack cycle here, we really want to try and kill these two. Letting the Bashura have a turn, even if it KOs Oren, is not maybe a disaster if I can take out the Grats. So, what's the best way to do that? So I can switch to the TKO with Waku and have two attacks against them. And actually, they are vulnerable to sleep. So that looks pretty good. So if I go to a TKO and Sleep Buster them. Yeah, the Bashura is getting a turn before Oren here. I could. I could slow the Bashura. Mm. The um, Stone Touch is, I think, a little less effective than uh, Death in terms of the chance of it taking out the Grat in one shot, but because of Sleep Buster as sort of a backup, this is still better. Okay, it didn't land petrification. So what happens if I slow... If I slow the Bashura... Yeah, we're actually... I guess that could work out fine. I could maybe cast Protect on Oren. Yeah, maybe I like that more. I mean, the Bashur is... strong. But I think with... Oh, I 
keep going the wrong way. It's one of those battles where like the orientation of whether left, right, or up, down switches party to enemy targeting is confusing. But yeah, I think if I stick protect on Aaron, he should tank for us pretty well here. The Bashura might also just psych up. Ah, oh, it's still got a lot of damage. But I guess with SOS regen, it should be okay. Right, and now Wacker can hit this other one. It'd be really nice if this pet tried. Hmm, okay. Yeah, so we're getting the confusion attack from the Gretz, so I really don't want to let them have a turn. Alright, we know we can tank the Bashura attack. Just looking at getting slow down on, on him again. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, and he's vulnerable to both the slow and the delay. Okay, nice. So Wacker here actually has time to do Sleep Buster on both of the plants. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, this battle would be a little less awkward if I was trying to kill all the enemies rather than capture them, because I could use Zombie Attack, and then Life would be a pretty consistent way to just take out the Bashura. Um, let's see. I guess I could do with getting a Bio down no, I should probably just focus on death on the on the plants. Yeah, it doesn't hit consistently, unfortunately. Okay, so sleep buster on you. Still no petrification, alright. Then Titus for RN. Yep, that's fine. Sleep burst of this plant again. I guess confusion... Hmm, maybe confusion is not even such a problem. Okay, here's the thing. If both the Grants had a turn and did the confusion attack on Aaron, the first one would put him under confusion, and the second one would then not be blocked by Sentinel, so that could be an issue. But if only one of them is getting a turn, then I can just cure the confusion. Right. Yeah, so this... Yeah, so what I'm saying, I think, is that even if death fails... ...here, and this Grat Monster A takes a turn, then Aaron should block the shot, and I can cure the confusion on Wacker's turn. Ah, we missed again. So let's see if that works out how I said. Yeah, so Aaron is confused, but... We can get him out of the confusion. He actually did still show us having the Sentinel status when I just went to Asuna him, that's interesting. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have blocked another attack though. Yeah, I, I don't know how that works. I know that with sleep, you don't get to do stuff like either Evade Encounter or, um, or Sentinel. Man, so we're still in the same position as before with these silly, these silly plants. But we can just keep ro uh, rolling the dice on the petrification. There we go, finally. Okay, and Yuna can switch out for Aaron before the Bashura, so that is going to be fine. So, yeah, let's just hit this guy with death again. And that worked. Alright. Nice. Okay. I think I'm just gonna... This isn't really necessary, but... Since I'm just gonna head to the arena after this, I might make the fight a little faster by this hasting Lulu. Psych up, okay. Uh, I think that means I probably want to heal Aaron ahead of the next turn, but 
We should be able to just use Bio plus Sleep Buster now. In fact, yeah, I should have used a Sleep Buster on Aaron's turn instead of Sentinel. That's fine, I guess. Yep, that wasn't really worth it. Has everyone done something in this fight? Maybe Riku hasn't. Now we need someone with... Sensor. Oops. Okay, so... We actually want to do a little bit more damage to him than throw a cure... So that he's left with... Yeah, so that the fourth poison tick le leaves him with just a tiny amount of HP. Um, I guess I can do that right here. Let's end this. If I cast fire... Yeah, I'm intentionally not casting a big damage spell. Uh, that's pretty good, I think. So now if I look at his HP, so 4250 times 3 is 12750. So provided I heal for... Oh, I might not actually be able to heal for enough. Let's just do it and see. I mean, the fight's basically won at this point. We just have to manipulate his health. Okay, that was a, that was a big enough heal that we should be fine. Yeah, so he's gonna... Yeah, so three more poison ticks and he's gonna left, be left with 50 HP. All oh, right, but yeah, we want to, I guess, use Sentinel rather than Sleep Buster, just because the Sleep Buster does do damage to him and messes up that HP situation we we made. No, that's fine. Yeah, climbing up Gagazet, you know, for real, when we're trying to get up to Flux and progress the storyline is going to be a little difficult. Okay, now I think he's low enough on health that he's just going to... He's just going to put his fists up, yeah. But yeah, I, I think... Um, yeah, I think it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be difficult to manage MP for sure. Climbing up Gagazette and having to fight all these encounters. Oh, he didn't put his fists up. Alright. Okay, but our plan is still working fine here. Oh, I guess he didn't put his fist up fist up because he was slightly over 50% HP. Right, right. It's definitely annoying having enemies with like mix of, of status immunity. Like some enemies who are immune to slow. There we go, perfect. And Orange should still have Beastmaster. Just make sure. Yeah. Okay. For sure you're coming with me. Enough. No time to waste. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, that's not an amazing amount of AP. Like, you can just see on the right-hand side how much AP characters need for more sphere levels. And that was obviously incredibly long for that amount of AP as well. But, oh well, it is what it is. Okay, let's just... Let's just go back and save. I'm not going to... Not going to do all the rest of the capturing here. I don't think there's much need. I think it's more productive to just go farm Bashura in the arena for SOS Haste and see if we can get a good kind of pattern going for getting sphere levels on Yuna there. I think zombie attack plus life. Yeah, it might have a little zombie resistance, but not too much. So zombie attack plus life should be a quick way of doing it. I do certainly plan on taking on all the capturing I can do in, in this challenge too. It's just, you know, the extra capturing, unlocking um, items like shining gems and chocolate wings, like those items don't really help us in this. So yeah, the, the other capturing is not such a high priority.
Okay, um, sphere level wise, so I want to level up Lulu and Riku. Yeah, Riku I can actually, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna use three level four key spheres to get to full life here. I've only got three, but I can get more from bribing. Um, so let's go ahead and start doing that. I've only got one level three key sphere. So I guess the question is to who's gonna use that one. Lulu picked up Flare finally, and I think, yeah, I don't want to have her backtrack manually. I'm going to use a Return Sphere to get her back down here, and then she needs level 3 to get to double cast. Yeah, I think double cast is the most important skill behind a level 3. So let's do that right now, Return Sphere. Yeah, I took a little detour down this way just to grab these extra MP nodes. And I definitely don't want to waste the sphere levels walking all the way down here. Yeah, so use level 3 key sphere there. And then we can use level 4 here. And then I'm just one sphere level away from double cast. That'll make, um, yeah, that, that'll definitely help the random encounters later. Like being able to double cast death, for instance, is really powerful. And of course, it synergizes with copycat too. Okay, but for right now, let's see if we can set up. Killing Bashuras. I guess I can save. Yeah, only Titus right now has um, SOS haste, and it's not so useful because I'm just gonna switch Titus out. All right, Enrique goes before Bashura. So if I do this, zombie attack. Life. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, not the equipment drop I wanted. That's counter attack for it, you know, but alright, I guess. She does learn. Is this regen, I think? Yeah. Yeah, someone, I think. Kaverion mentioned using regen to save MP healing on Yuna in the video I made for Defender X. And I do agree with that, but you can see like my Yuna just didn't have regen. She's just kind of behind on sphere levels. But now she does. Uh, the thing is, I also do want... I do need sphere levels on other characters too. So what if I... Yeah, it's slightly awkward because I do want an initiative character in the front line. And my initiative characters are a little slow here. I don't have an initiative on Riku, do I? No. I guess I can see what I see what I can do here. Um, I can have Aaron in the front line with initiative. I can have Wacker. I can have Wacker switch in and Sleep Buster. Yeah. This isn't going to be particularly quick, I guess, but that's that's fine. I'm just trying to think of a way of getting AP on Lulu and Riku as well. You know what, let's just start with Riku in the front line. Yeah. So dummy weapon switch for Riku, then dummy weapon switch for Lulu. I should really reorder the equipment so I don't have more inputs there. Zombie attack here, and this is nice because if this fails I can actually copycat it on Riku. And it did fail, okay. No, oh, that failed too. Well that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, it has a 25% resistance, maybe?
There we go. Alright. Well, I'm certainly not going to record all the time here, but I will keep recording for a little bit. Um, see if we can get an SOS haze drop or two. Yeah, there may still be a way I can optimize this a little more. It does feel super slow. I love how Titus is standing so you can't see the uh, arena guy at all. It's funny. Maybe I'd do the dummy switch on Lulu first. Just because I may have to copycat. Ah, I guess it doesn't make any difference. Actually, yeah. The way I did it the first time around was better. Getting SOS haste on a unit in particular is really not bad as well. I mean, as opposed to other characters. There's definitely battles where we're not going to want unit to get KO'd, and so her being at low HP and just having SOS haste active seems pretty attractive. Uh, okay, what's happening here? I guess the turn ordering got... Yeah, I guess... Aaron low rolled on his... Initial counter value? That's fine. Oh, never counter attack staff for the... for Yuna. Okay. We can hit the save screw in a minute to get MP back, but shouldn't need it just yet. Alright. Copycat the zombie attack. There we go. of the other stuff I want to get done before Flux. I think that kind of the bottleneck is the, the sphere levels on, you know, like I was saying. Um, we do need a bit more gill for bribing for some more level 4 key spheres, and capturing does help with that because we get to sell some of the items. Not all of them sell for much, but some of them do, like the... I think you get some 3 stars for unlocking Earth Eater, which is from... Um, completing a second area of capturing. So we should try and do that, I guess with Macalania or Thunder Plains. But yeah, I mean having SOS haste for that capturing is only going to make it easier, right? So that's kind of another reason to do things in this order. Alright, it's available for Riku. I need one more... Okay, I need to go bribe a Chimera Brain for that last level 4, but we don't have to do that right now. Just grab and pee back. Uh, 
Okay, we should actually aim to just... Yeah. I didn't need to use Waka there, did I? No. Alright. Looks up fine though. Full life on Riku is definitely quite nice to have. Um, just having a second character who can revive KO characters. Alright, and I think that is double cast for Lulu. Yeah, awesome. Now, there's no MP nodes around here that we haven't already got. Nope, agility, evasion, defense. Yeah. So back earlier in the grid over here, there's Nav Gill, which I, I'm not excited about, and also somehow needs three level three key spheres to get to, so we're nowhere near getting to that. We can't actually bribe for them at the moment. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess one day we can pick this up, maybe. But more or less, other than that, uh, Lulu is, I believe, finished with everything. So her MP maxes out at 432. Yeah, that sounds right. I guess I never said this um, in the rules, but even though I'm allowing activating of MP nodes, I'm not allowing adding new MP spheres like uh, onto the grid. Um, so yeah, I'm just I'm just allowing what's already there. I don't have to figure out like you know how many MP uh, MP spheres to give to Yuno or Lulu or whatever. I'm just you know not uh, not allowing those. Right, let's keep going with the Yuno. Whatever this is, training. I guess I don't need... Yeah, I don't need the Sphere level on, on Lulu now. Right, right. Ah, uh, I just kind of... Oh, nice, a haste ring. I just kind of autopiloted into, like, oh yeah, bring in Lulu for the AP. But, yeah, no, I, I'm finished with Lulu. Apart from Nab Gil, which I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna spend time getting Sphere levels for right now. Right, Sphere level on unit. Good. So Riku just needs one more. Okay, nice. Well, yeah. The farming will definitely get faster without having to bring other characters in. Okay, SOS Haste, and this isn't as relevant on Yuna in this challenge because apart from life spell on Yuna herself, I don't have ways to resurrect characters at half HP like Phoenix Downs, but she would revive in, in haste status with this item, so... I guess that's something. Uh, yeah, that's good. I'm sure that's going to be useful for Flux, for example. Um, Riku. Okay. So we're just trying to get one more sphere level on Riku. And then I can probably... Actually, yeah, I can think of a I can think of a faster way to do this farming with just zombie attack into life. Yeah. No, not Lulu. Nuts. It's too bad um, I can't get an overdrive to AP weapon. Just uh, do the old, well, I guess it would be Don Tonbury trick. I was going to say Tonbury, but if we're capturing a Tonbury, we'll basically will have unlocked Don Tonbury, so that would be better. But yeah, sadly, no way to get one of those.
Uh, okay, how are we doing here? Riku, ugh, 11,500, jeez. Alright, so be it. I think I'll carry on until I have that last spear level on Riku. Then we can, um... Then I can bribe one more level 4 key sphere for full life, and then probably end the video here and do some more spear level grinding on Yuna, just uh, in my own time. Since, it, yeah, it obviously is pretty repetitive, and... I'm not gonna <laughs> find interesting things to say for hours and hours. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so Riku back in. Oh, I should not have defended with Whacker there, that was bad. Oof, I guess it worked out. <laughs> Did not expect Whacker to survive that, fair enough. be the best character for SOS Haste to drop for now. Hmm. Honestly, almost anyone would be good on... Maybe someone like Lulu, because she's kind of in the same category as you know, where like... She's not going to have that much HP anyway, so she may as well just be at 1 HP with Haste active and switch in and out. We definitely need Lulu's magic in a lot of the upcoming boss fights. So yeah, Haste Bangle would be good, and then Wacko would probably be more useful than Aran, and Aran would probably be more useful than Kamari. I guess on Riku too wouldn't be bad. Most likely I'll end up with SOS Haste on everybody at some point. Somebody just got a level up. It's either Yuna or Riku. Oh yeah, I guess it was always going to be Yuna. Well, she gets to the next MP node. That is progress. MP plus 20. Yep. Ah, still a long way to go to Holy though, man. Yeah. No, well, it is what it is. That that sleep buster is completely useless when I have the preemptive strike. I don't know why I did that. It's just autopilot. Yeah, and now I don't get to. Um... Yeah, I should have had a whacker change weapons so that I could bring in Luna you know, for life. But fortunately, the Bashura just psyched itself up. Hey, shield. Well. I already have that. Let's, let's see if it has the health bonus. Not that that is a huge deal, I think. 
No, it does not. All right, so that's just a duplicate, right? Yeah, exact duplicate. Oh well, I guess we can sell one of them for some amount of gill. Yeah, no spear level on Riku just yet. It's too bad the life um, cast does not give an overkill. It would help a tiny bit of the AP. Certainly killing this guy with HP damage is going to be slower by enough that the extra AP would not be useful, I think. I mean, he's got 18,000 health, or 17,000 health, sorry. And yeah, letting the battle last long enough for him to have multiple poison ticks is is just slow. Uh, another redundant equipment drop. No, it's fine. I'm not really doing this for the equipment. I think it is the least bad way of getting AP. It's just that SOS haste would be nice to grab. Counter attack would be okay on on like Aaron as well, probably. It does work pretty well with Sentinel. Not sure if there's a fight where that really will come up, but we'll see. It would have been very nice to have counter-attack for Orin against Defender X, that's for sure. Oh, I did it again. A completely unnecessary sleep buster. Ah, oh well. that level up. It was Riku. Nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and take out a Chimera Brain. Yep, Yellow Shield, Equipped and Titus, that's all we need. So, Calmlands, Chimera Brain. Provoke. Now that we know that uh, you can bribe through provoke. Bribe ninety-eight thousand. Alright. And number one. Not sure what the monster arena dude would make of us finding his uh, fighting the monsters and then just like bribing them to run away. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I guess we're paying him, so he can't really complain, right? There we go. Okay. Too bad we only get one level four key sphere each time, but. We don't need two... Oh, I stand corrected. Nice. Huh, I did not realize you could get two. I guess it's random, and, and usually it's one, but sometimes it's two. Well, that definitely helps. Yeah, so that's that's maybe one level four key sphere towards getting auto life. And full life for Riku. Nice, okay. So what else does Riku need to do? I think right at the beginning of her grid, up next to Kamari, yeah, there's this, Pill for Gil. Yeah, we can go back there. Unfortunately, I don't have a return sphere. I really need the second return sphere I have for Yuna. I mean, Pill for Gil and Nab Gil are just not particularly important abilities. So yeah, you'd, Riku's basically finished at this point. So that means... I mean, okay, so... Kamari can learn Ultima, and I do have I can get the level four key spheres to do that. Um, but Kamari doesn't need more sphere levels. Lulu doesn't really need more sphere levels. I think it's just Yuna you know, at this point. So Waka, yeah, Waka will eventually get to full break, and um, that's not a priority. Yeah, I think right now. Right, I think what I'll do right now is if I equip Yuna with. Let's equip Yuna with SOS Haste. Have her in the front line. Uh, 
have Whacker in the front line of initiative. And get Yuna to SOS HP, which shouldn't be difficult. And we can just do zombie attack straight into... Yeah, we can do zombie attack straight into life and make killing the Bashura that bit faster. Alright. Let's keep going for a little longer. I really would love to get another SOS uh, haste drop. Alright, well, we successfully got Yuna into SOS HP. Let's just see what full life does. I think it'll do the same thing where it won't be an overkill. No, it's just, yeah, okay, just the same thing as life. Fair enough. Oh, and another haste ring. <laughs> it's really funny to get that on the kill which wasn't made by Yuna, but it is what it is. Okay, nice. Well, we got one with one free slot, so we can sell this one, and that's a reasonable amount of free gill, I guess. Okay, so now if I have... Yeah, now if I do this... Yeah. Then Yuna will get a turn before the Bashura. There we go. Okay, good. I guess if zombie attack misses, then we still have to fiddle around a little, but apart from that case, this will be a lot faster than it was. Let's get going until I get another equipment drop, and then I'll end it for this video. Uh, why is... oh. Well, I messed this up. Uh, yeah. Aaron was not supposed to be in the front line. Also, I didn't do a great job with character's turns there. Unfortunately, Bashura is just psyching itself up and not doing anything. Alright. Yeah, if it wasn't for, for trying to fight the battle as fast as possible, it would actually be good to have Riku run the last hit, since I need a Hastage still. I can always buy the Hastage from once, though. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now I think about it, that's probably not a priority. Okay, so Orange should not be in the party. Yeah, this is what we want. Yes, okay, good. <laughs> and then we get a Primter Strike anyway, alright. Yeah, that's nice and fast. Pilot into um, having you know out of the front line. Okay, Bashura, if you're going to be like that. Did not want Titus to have a turn between. Ah! Threat. Well. Now let's see, if I copycat now, what actually happens? Oh, that's cool! 
So even though there was a dummy weapon switch that Riku did, the copycat still copied the previous action. No, I didn't realize that's how it worked. Yeah, I think there's some little details of copycat I could definitely do with um, figuring out for myself for this challenge. I did a tiny bit of testing with copycat and sentinel as well, and that doesn't work the way I thought it would. So I thought that the character who used Sentinel most recently would essentially have priority and they would block whatever attack, but actually it seems like if you have multiple characters with Sentinel active, they protect each other. And then I'm not sure what happens, like what determines whether the third, like who gets to protect the third character, if that makes sense. I don't know that Sentinel, yeah, I don't think the Sentinel case is actually useful at all, but... It still feels like something I want to understand in this challenge. Alright, I should have thought of this, but it's actually um, Oren's MP that's going to be the limitation here. Yeah. Hey, Haze Bracer, cool. Bit of tension between that and having RNB tanky and use Sentinel, but I'm sure it'll be useful at some point nonetheless. Alright, well Aaron's almost out of MP, we can just go hit the save sphere of course, but I think one more fight and that'll be a good time to end this video. I'll keep thinking about whether there's any way to effectively level Yuna faster than doing this. I did look uh, through the list of fiends in the arena and look at how much AP they get and it's it's just not great. I think you get a fair bit more AP for Malbro, but we don't have a fast way to kill Malbro, so that kind of defeats the purpose. Alright, let's just see here. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 sphere levels. Plus... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Man, that's so many. Yeah, we're definitely going to have SOS haste for everybody. <laughs> Alright, like I say, I'll, I'll think about whether there's a faster way to do this. If there is something, if I find something interesting that's actually faster, I might make another video, but otherwise, I'll probably pick this up again with some more capturing once Yuna has either got, gotten to at least a holy or holy and order life. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you in the next part.